Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it is it a good afternoon? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. My name is Faith Dongo as um, Pastor Alice has said. Uh, I love the Lord Jesus Christ. First and foremost, because he's my personal savior. He saved me as a young girl in high school. And I, I always like to say I have proved him faithful. Amen. For all the years I have walked with him, I have proved him faithful. I have not found anything else that I can exchange with my Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited to be here this afternoon. Um, and uh, probably to add more about myself is that I, I and my husband, Bishop Peter Dongo, Probably you've heard him on Hope FM Saturday evenings at 5.30. We are the founders and the overseers of Overcoming Faith Church, the OFC. Praise the Lord. We are right on the highway, Thika Highway. I'm sure you have seen our posters there. You have seen an LED sign. That is where we preach the word. And that is not where we started. We started in Gedorai 45 many years ago. And then we have continued to grow. We have a few branches. Um, we also are the founders and the directors of Happy Life Children's Home. How many know Happy Life? Amen. Because I, I know that the women of this church are partners of Happy Life Children's Home, the youth of this church, and even the individuals. Praise the Lord. And I know the groups have come to visit us. I can see Phyllis here. She's my good friend. Amen. And uh, I want to take opportunity to tell you thank you for, for partnering with us to take care of their abandoned children. Praise the Lord. And Happy Life has, has continued to grow. We now have a Happy Life Christian School in Juja Farm. And we have gone up to class seven. We also just opened a hospital for children right here at Happy Life where we have the Happy Life Children's Home. We built a pediatric a medical center. We call it Jessica Children's Hospital. Praise the Lord. And we continue to grow and the, the vision continues to speak. That is in a nutshell who I am. But uh, more than that, I want to say thank you to Pastor Alice. I have known them and Bishop Kemani for many, many years. When we were young and in the college, we knew Kemani was pastor. That is what we used to call Bishop Kemani. And I have always loved the ministry that they are doing. Praise the Lord. And I'm so excited to be in the Daughters of Impact Meeting. That is such a powerful name. Daughters of Impact. Praise the Lord. Because those that know their God will be strong and they will do exploits. You see, exploits is impact. Amen. Exploits is, is actually having an impact. And when I, I, I started uh, looking at your post, I thought, that is such a great name. Praise the Lord. I can see a lot of uh, people that I know here. I have friends here. I can see Rosemary there. I can see my childhood friend, Anne. Goge, please just stand up. This woman of God... This woman of God, we have walked together from high school to getting babies, bringing up our babies, and going through the deep valleys together and rising up again. And I am so excited to see her. I honor you, woman of God. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I have many other friends, and recently I made very good friends. I can see them here, Elise and the others. God bless you. They came and we had a wonderful time at Happy Life together. And today I also came with uh, uh, some sisters from OFC. I want them to just stand up. We have uh, Pastor uh, Lucy Lepore with her daughter Lynette. Amen. I have Jacinta Mwangi. She's uh, one of our pastor's wives. I have Rosemary Karanja, one of our pastor's wives. There. We have OFC Kamulu. There were others that were supposed to come. I don't know whether they are here. Maybe they are still on the way. Amen. Now, today we have a wonderful time. I've loved your meeting. I've loved just the fun of being together as women and as ladies. And, you know, it's so exciting that we can have a multi-generational meeting 
where we are together with our daughters and granddaughters, and we are saying that Jesus saves and that Jesus is good. Praise the Lord. And I'm so excited that um, I am in this meeting. I have learned a lot of things. We have a women ministry at our church. We call it Daughters of Faith. Don't be deceived. It has nothing to do with my name. Amen. We have Overcoming Faith Church. It doesn't have anything to do with my name. It just happened that the Lord has called us and has called us to the ministry of impacting faith in the body of Christ. Amen. And my husband was given me as his wife. But it is all the same. We are preaching the gospel. We are raising ladies. And I am excited. I have learned a lot of things. It is good to have fun together. Because as women, God has... has, has, has um, he has created us in a very special way. Women come in every shape and size. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And design. <laughs> and they are beautiful. Let me tell you, when you stand here is when you, are, you get amazed at the beauty that is before you. There is so much beauty. I'm looking at all of you. You know, so much beauty. Praise the Lord. Can you turn to somebody next to you and tell them, you are beautiful. And I'm not kidding. Praise the Lord. You are beautiful. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You look so beautiful. Uh, and, I, and, and also he made us in a very special way. And because we are, we've been made in a special way, we have our own delicateness. And yet we have so much strength inside us. But there are times that we go through stuff. And we get wounded. And we get scarred. And sometimes the devil can bring out the worst in us. And the devil can make us forget how special and beautiful and good the Lord has made us. But I want to come today, and I was given a very good theme, beyond the wounds. Praise the Lord. Welcome. I'm going to have somebody came recently to our church from, uh, from I think, the U.S., and they, they, they were not getting the idea of interpretation, and so we told them, they, he, was, he was calling it typewriter, so I'm going to have a typewriter with me, <laughs> amen. <laughs> She'll be typing what I say in English into Swahili, amen. amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Welcome, my sister. Thank you, thank you. Amen. And so... Um, we have a very interesting topic today. Tunayo masomo ya kutisha sana. Beyond the wounds. Yani kupitia ama baada ya kuumia. Amen. And I want us to read the word of God. Na ningetaka tusome neno lake bwana. Job chapter 5 verse 18. I don't know whether the screens uh, we are able to project the word. Tutasoma kutoka kitabu cha Ayubu mlango wa 5 na tutaomba watu wa media watusaidie kuiweka kwa runinga. Amen. Job 18. Job Job 5. Sorry, Job 5. Ayubu 5. Are we able to get that? If not, we can read. Um, I can read. Tutasoma tunaposubiri. Oh, it's already on the screen. Oh, amen. You can give me New King James version. Nipatie tafsiri ya New King James. For he bruises, but he binds up. He wounds, but his hands make whole. Humiza, lakini ya funga. Amen. I think people can read from your mm -hmm. Bibles. Yeah. Amen. And then let's go to Ruth chapter 1. Tutasoma tena kutoka kitabu cha Ruth mlango wa kwanza. The book of Ruth chapter 1. Ruth mlango wa kwanza. Ruth chapter 1. Ruth mlango wa kwanza. We'll read a few verses there. Tutasoma mistari mchache pale. And then uh, we'll be able to continue to hear what the Lord is saying to us. Na tutaendelea kusikiza Bwana asemaje jioni ya leo. 
I think I'll just read in English and you can read from your Bibles to save time. Tutasoma kwa kimombo lakini waswahili watafuatilia kwa Biblia zao. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem Judah went to dwell in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, the name of his wife was Naomi, and the names of his two sons was Mahlon and Chilion, the Ephrathites of Bethlehem, Judah. And they went to the country of Moab and remained there. Then Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. Now the two wives of the women of Moab, the name of one was Opa, and the name of the other, Ruth, and they dwelt there about ten years. Then both Mahlon and Chilion also died, so the woman survived her two sons and her husband. And then uh, I want us to go on to verse 14. Verse, actually not verse 14, just a moment. I'm trying to save on time. Let's read from verse 19. Now the two of them went until they came to Bethlehem. And it happened when they had come to Bethlehem that all the city was excited because of them. And the women said, is this Naomi? But she said to them, do not call me Naomi. Call me Mara, for the Almighty has dwelt very bitterly with me. I went out full, and the Lord has brought me home again empty. Why do you call me Naomi? Since the Lord has testified against me, and the Almighty has afflicted me. Very quickly, turn to chapter 4. Turn to chapter 4. This is a story we know well. I uh, will read from verse 13. So Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife. And when he went into her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord who has not left you this day without a close relative, and may his name be famous in Israel. And may he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you who is better to you than seven sons, has borne him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. Also the neighbor women gave him a name saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. Let's pray. Amen. Our Father, we give you praise and honor your name. Thank you for this Daughters of Impact meeting because, Lord, you are in this place. I thank you for the fun we've had. I thank you for the joy of just being together, fellowshipping with one another. And I thank you for the ministry of the word. I pray that, Lord, you may speak to us. Use us and my sister as uh, your mouthpieces, Lord, and that, Lord Almighty, what you want to do with your daughters today will be done. I am praying that, Lord, your word will come forth with power and authority, and it shall perform that which you are releasing it to perform in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wonderful.